To me, what makes someone successful as an engineer, or I'd argue what makes someone successful in general, is an honest curiosity about how things work. How do you make a silicon chip? How do you put atoms into silicon to make a semiconductor? So I think at some point I wanted to be a paleontologist, right? I wanted to go look for dinosaurs and, and build dinosaurs and understand that kind of thing. I didn't know that I would end up in this role. I never really had a life plan laid out and I had to hit these markers. It was all about go through things, take opportunities as they show up, take a little bit of risk for different things and, and see what happens. When I went through undergrad, there was no real exposure to biology. I went through chemical engineering and I was very focused actually in materials science and polymers. And in the middle of my PhD, I called my father up and said, could I look at insulin as a, as a, a protein of interest? Because that's what you've been spending your entire career looking at insulin and insulin receptor. And the short story is basically, there's no point because every, we've been looking at it for hundred, like almost hundred years. It was like, you know everything there is to know about it. But he said, you know what, I'll, I'll help you. I'll make connect you with a colleague who looks at how insulin forms crystals. And my PhD supervisor, when I asked him, said, can I do this? Just said, sure, go ahead. This to me is, was key to success. And, and uh, philosophy I use as well, which is for my students, is like, you're interested in something, you pivot, I will find the resources. This blue sky team. But the reality is the majority of the team As many people know, or maybe they don't know, uh, I run marathons, I do lots of endurance events, and that often involves being stubborn enough to want to finish that, right? And so I tend to not like to uh, give up on, on things or individuals. I don't like to see someone fail, right? I'm always there to help someone move through a, through a challenge. How can I enable your success? If, you have a, if you're having a challenge, if you want to do something, how can I make that happen? In a way that's not simply putting, giving you money to do it, which is one solution, but maybe there's another solution, right? It's like, how can I introduce you to the person or the entity or the resources that can help do that? Because maybe you just didn't know that it was available. You know, engineering is constantly evolving as a discipline. You know, solving problems is a bit of a, a work or stated way of describing engineering, but I think engineering really is about looking for different ways to make things work. How do we make communities safer? How do you make transportation more efficient? How do you make things sustainable? And it's a more holistic way of looking at it. We need to create an engineer that's resilient, adaptable, flexible, uh, can draw from multiple disciplines. And that means not just bringing in different engineering disciplines and sciences, but actually increasingly means bringing in the social sciences, the humanities, the arts, the business world, and, and being able to be the integrator for all of those. So it's really about teaching the students to not get paralyzed when stuff changes on them and to be part of that equation. Actually, they will be the ones who change the technology. And so for those who are interested in making change, uh, affecting a big impact on the world, engineering is a great place to do that. Maybe what I'm most proud about, or I'm happiest with, I think has been the engagement of me with the broader community. Being a dean that, that anybody can feel they can approach and talk to. Do you do a, a decaf doesn't taste weird. When I was an undergrad, I didn't know who the dean was. I didn't know what the dean did. In that first summer that I became the dean, I just said out of the blue, I would love to have a coffee with every single undergraduate before they graduate. And it was like, why would you do that? Which I think is awesome when you have something. I wanted to hear it from people. I wanted to know what made every one of our 6,000 undergrads tick, right? What were the what were the things that they wanted to do? What, why are they coming? What do they want to learn? And, and But make it conversational. Don't make it scripted. Don't make it a town hall. Let's go to Tim Hortons and grab a donut and have a coffee and shoot the breeze. And, and I think uh, I'm happiest when I'm having, literally having a coffee with a student.
I think it's it's probably the most important thing I do is is to listen.